what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And this isn't going to be some long, drawn-out video, just a video where I just do pose a couple of questions because I got questions for y'all who be hanging off of this man's nutsack. So, Kevin Samuels did an interview slash conversation with Brittany Renner. As you guys know, Brittany Renner is the girl who dated an 18-year-old NBA player and ran off on the plug when she had her baby, and she was painted the villain online. People painted, painted her as, you know, somebody who goes after young men and manipulates them and all things under the sun. She has been getting headlines because they say, like, she ran off with child support and all kind of stuff like that. And she's d doing her rounds of interviews. And one of the latest interviews that she did was with Kevin Samuels. Now, before this interview took place, right hand to the sky, whatever, I told my friend, I said, and he is a Kevin Samuels fan who he damn near be hanging off his sack to. Um, he said that, you know, oh, you know, if he does an interview with her, it's, he's going to go in. Da, da, da. My exact words to him was, if he does an interview with her, I guarantee you he will not have the same energy that he does for any of the other women who call into his show. And lo and behold, he gets Brenner, Brittany Renner on, who is just as delusional, if not worse, than half of the women who come on his show. And he's being gentle and kind and, you know, sweet and things and holding like a decent conversation. And my question was, why does he not ever have the same energy for these light skin Instagram thoughts. Now, the last time I seen a clip of him with somebody like this was when he had a conversation with Tommy from Love and Hip Hop. And Tommy, you know, when she talks, she slurs her words. You could tell that she's probably drunk or just out of her mind. She has made headlines for all kind of crazy erratic behavior. But with people like Tommy and Brittany Renner, he's soft, kind and gentle. And so I seen in the comments when I went down in the comments and there was a lot of nut, sang, nut swingers saying how strategic this interview was and how profound this interview was. And I guess I just posed the question of and it's nothing wrong with going in a different direction for your YouTube, because being in YouTube, you know, it's not for us to just sit and, and stay the same. You know, I, I, I applaud him for switching up his style and I don't find any problem with that but my question is to the nutsack swingers like what did y'all take away from this that was so profound you know what I'm saying like nothing wrong with him doing an interview not even a knock to the interview I just noticed that he didn't keep the same energy which I knew he wouldn't but what was so profound and I find that oftentimes when people idolize people and Kevin Samuels is a person who has cultivated a cult like following who very much idolizes him because a lot of them don't have fathers and they they're that's the father figure that they didn't have. And a lot of them hate women. So they like to see a man bash a woman and they get their gratification out of that. So I seen it was either people making excuses for the interview, saying that it was profound or it was a lot of polar opposite comments where the men were completely completely not satisfied because they wanted to get their rocks off with a woman being bashed and you know that kind of way like a lot of men I feel like they get their rocks off from that so they were let down that oh my god like I live for you tearing into women and you didn't give me that gratification to like get my rocks off through you type of thing and then you had the other people like I said who said oh my god this was so strategic and this was so profound and I'm like what was what was profound about it <laughs> that's just my main question what was profound about the interview again no, no knock to him doing this interview style because um I think that he should have normal conversations with people because all of the over-the-top stuff to me is distasteful I don't like it but I'm not his target audience. His target audience is men with daddy issues who need somebody to look up to and need a father figure. So I'm not even his audience. So it's not not saying it's to so that he, that he needs to make content that I like. But 
just really wondering what you guys got from it. The ones who made those excuses in the comments, <laughs> not saying that it was a horrible interview, but it just wasn't so profound and strategic. She's a woman who is trending and he got an interview with somebody that's trending. Like that's just kind of the beginning and end of it to me. But for the people who felt like it was so profound, I guess what I'm saying, like, what did you guys take away from it that was so profound? And why is it that when he gets with these um, light skin, popular insta, insta th thoughts, he's so uh, gentle. He's so gentle and nice and smiley and, you know, cheesing or so hard w and, and things like that. Like, why? Why is that? OK. That's all. Um, but other than that, I think that is dope that he's changing up his uh, format. I think, again, uh, as YouTubers, it's good for us to switch it up. So no knock to that. Just wondering what was so profound and why the energy is never the same to girls like Brittany and girls like Tommy when he speaks to them. All right. Catch y'all in the comments. <laughs> I anticipate a lot of nut swingers to be there. And I'll meet y'all at the dough. <laughs> Bye.